What's up everyone? So right now, we're just kind of walking through this. I don't know if you can see or not, but over there is a bunch of green trees. That's where we're headed. And uh, there's a tiny little spillway. I haven't brought a lot. I brought worms and a little bit of shrimp. And uh, that's it. We're going to try and fish with that. But we're walking all the way through here to get over there. Straight up desert. <laughs> so, all right, we made it to the trees. Now we just got to get down there. Those of you that watch my videos, you're going to recognize this place from a fairly recent video. <sighs> yeah. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Spider webs and crap everywhere. It's pretty nasty. There it is. Wow. It's flowing better than it was when I was last here. Alright. So let me show you guys something. It's like a bum hideout. Not my normal gear. Uh, I brought two poles, this one, and I have the Daiwa Mini Spin in there. And today we're going to fish this, and if we get a decent catfish, we're going to make a catfish poor boy, so, or po boy, whatever you want to call it. And uh, we'll go from there, but it's got to be a decent sized catfish. Looks a little overgrown. I got my buddy Lewin coming. Uh, he's probably going to fish with us. And uh, we'll see who gets the bigger catfish. And then uh, if we got time, we're going to cook it up right here, right out here. So stay with me. I'm going to set up the hard camera with the tripod and uh, probably start with a worm. Dude, no way. He's pretty big. 
I can't tell. What the heck? This has got to be the biggest one out of here so far. I bet it's that one that dude caught. My buddy, uh, Chad, yeah. Yeah. We've been wild to be able to enter the water so fast. Holy cow. Man, dude, this feels almost carpish. Holy cow! Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, no, oh yeah, no net. No, I didn't bring nothing. He's getting in this stuff yeah. over there. Oh, come on. Get off of there. Oh my god, oh my god. He's underneath that. He's underneath there. He's still there. He's right by that tree. Yeah, perfect. There he is, there he is. Damn, grab him, grab him, grab him. Holy cow. No, just grab it by the mouth. Oh my God. No way that came out of here. Look at this, out of this tiny little spillway. I didn't bring anything but a little bit of gear to do the catching to it. But that's gotta be at least five pounds at least. That is a nice size channel out of it. Huh? Oh. There you go. Grill. Propane. Pan. Let's get a quick view. Wow, look at that. Blue in your fast. Yeah. Is that thing pretty decent? That yeah. knife? All right, we got all the ingredients. He's still over there kind of cleaning it. I'm going to connect all this up. All right, we're good. So we got buttermilk, oil, flour, and cornmeal. And then we got some lettuce. Oh, my bread. Sriracha mayo. And some Colby Jack sliced cheese. And we got some uh, sub rolls that I pre cut already. So we'll leave all this in here. And then I got a trash bag in here for all the trash. And then here's something. Love this thing. Seasonings. This is what we'll need right here. Some grippers, tongs, whatever you want to call them. So, let's get cooking. All right, first things first, we're going to start getting this oil ready. Just got to uh, light this. I'm kind of jealous. I'm cooking and Lewin's getting the fish, but that's all right. He, uh, he filleted it for me, so respect. You got the catfish nuggets on the belly meat? Yeah, that's what you're going to have? Nah, I'll have to eat on 
true. They'll all look the same later. Yeah. Is that level? That's a lot. Not a lot better. There we go. A little more oil. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna want a flour, then buttermilk, then cornmeal. Here's the buttermilk bag. I'll do it once that oil's ready. Looks like it's heating up pretty quick. All right, let's get it all floured up. Throw all these chunks in here. Lewin wants the air bladder. Yuck. They're floured. Now we want to buttermilk them. Actually, we're going to put them in the bag first and then put buttermilk. Now we're going to buttermilk them. Don't need a whole lot of that. All right. Now we're going to go with the corn, corn meal. get some of that buttermilk off. There's way more channels down than I thought. Alright, now we want to shake that up. In the cornmeal. Got buttermilk everywhere. Okay, it should be good to start frying. Oh yeah. Gonna be our plate right here. Wow. These tongs suck. Uh, All right, there's about done, huh? Yeah. Just give it another minute on that side. Woo! So we got going on right now. That one's mine right there. Okay. Get these little guys off the of ruin. Alright, I'll take this one. Right. Take the rock and mayo all over it. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Got us all done up. If I'm going 
got the big fish. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to break it up and move it across. Oh no! Oh, Dude, it's full of sand and crap. Get the batter on. It's all right. It's all right. It's just a catching fish. A little one. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna fill in here. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I forgot my lettuce. You want lettuce? Yeah, put some lettuce in here. Some lettuce on both eyes. <laughs> Not much meat. That's okay. <laughs> it's like a vegan sandwich. Hold on, let me, uh, kind of... Alright, let me move the camera. <laughs> you where the fish is from? <laughs> what? Have I mentioned where the fish is from? This is reclaimed water. That's coming from a wastewater treatment plant right on the other side. It means the sewer. So this is essentially a sewer channel cat. But this water goes into Silver Bell Lake and uh, Lakeside. And it's the same exact water. So you can say it's a sewer catfish. It's all the same. You're not gonna find any legit water around here in the desert. So there it is, got some of my hair, got lettuce, cheese. He's already killing it. All right. All right, I'm kind of nervous. How is it? Are you about to throw up? <laughs> All right, my butt ain't fishing here, so it's not dead. Surprisingly good. Where's all that water? Yeah. I hope there's a mix-up of the water. I can't tell that's fish. Might be because all this stuff. Sriracha mayo really isn't that spicy, but it's good. All right, we're gonna finish our uh, sandwiches and get back to fishing. Alright, and with that one, I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next.